everybody, it's Elizabeth of ERW Plans, uh, erwplans.com, erwplans.etsy.com, and on Instagram, erw underscore plans. Um, I know it's been a while since I've done one of these videos. I'm finally 99% COVID symptom free after uh, three months, which is exciting. And um, I am here today because I'm going to show you how I plan a week in my Amplify Planner. So first we'll go over the tools that I have. Um, we have the planner spatula, as usual, and an assortment of markers, pens, lots of goodies in here. And then we have the sticker set. Uh, this is available in my shop. This is the Summer Pride set. Uh, this is the last week of June, so I'm still doing a Pride sticker kit here. So we'll just go right to this week, which is actually here. Wait. Yes, this is the right week. Sorry, it's been a while, like I said, and when you're sick, it time goes by really weirdly, so I'm not really sure like what day it even is. Um, that's kind of how it goes. Uh, first thing I'll note, I'll note is that this sticker kit is in my shop. Uh, this is, however, a custom version of the sticker kit. So uh, check the one in my shop because it's going to be a little bit different than what you're going to see today. All right, so let's get started. OK, so the first thing we're going to do is put the stickers from the sticker kit into the planner, as always. So I'm not bending over this because I'm quite nearsighted. I'm just going to flip it upside down to get started. Um, I, you know, I've missed doing these videos and I had a bunch of them actually queued up, ready to go. And then while I was sick, everything, just like everything that could go wrong, went wrong. Um, I had I um, lost one of my cats earlier this year and I had just adopted a new kitten and he gets into a lot of things, including disconnecting my hard drive. So there was a critical data failure there. So then I figured, well, I can just, you know, um, reshoot some of those videos. Like one of them was setting up the Passion Planner daily. Like well, I, I can just totally reshoot that. Um, that didn't work out so well because when you're sick, let me tell you, you just you feel like death. You don't want to do anything. You definitely don't want to sit around and shoot a video all day. So, yeah, that didn't work out as well as I thought it would. Um, and I did get up and do the intro to the Amplify Planner the day it launched because I was very excited about it. Um, and had intended to do quite a few of these like plan with me's with Amplify and then that just didn't work out. So, um, with, the, with the sticker kit that I'm using, that's like I said, the one that's in my shop, you'll notice that it's um, it does change the layout of the Amplify Planner a bit. Um, me personally, there's a, a bullet journal. I used to bullet journal. I was a Bujo person for quite some time. And I used to do a layout like this fairly frequently when bullet journaling. And so I just, I like it better than having the days laid out. And I also think, and I did it as a kit, I did it that way specifically because I wanted you to be able, if you're a Sunday start person, to have everything Sunday start up. The one thing you might not realize about the Amplify Planner. Let me see if I have a, I think July is still blank here. Let's see, yeah. Oh, that's a week. I guess maybe it doesn't, I think it, I swear it had a July in the back. It does, haha. <laughs> so the one thing you might not realize about the Amplify Planner, and it's a little funky, it's a Sunday start on the monthly. But on the weekly, let me see if I have a weekly. Yeah, but on the weekly, it's a Monday start. So with my sticker kits, I've made them a bit flexible so that you can do 
either a Sunday start or a Monday start with them. Um, obviously, like I said, the weeklies are Monday starts, so as a Monday start person myself, that makes perfect sense. That works great for me. Um, if you're a Sunday start person, you can do the sticker kit and then just start on Sunday and then your month matches your week. Uh, if you do one of my monthly kits, which will launch uh, later this week with September, then you'll be able to just do, you can get a Monday start kit for the September monthly kit and then your monthly will match your weekly. So one reason to use stickers with your Amplify planner. Um, also, you don't have to use stickers. I'm planning on doing a video where I show you guys how you can do a sticker-free Amplify setup and a sticker-free um, Passion Planner setup. So those are some of them, some of the videos coming up. Assuming nothing else weird happens. I mean, we've had so many strange things happen this year that I'm just like, who knows? It, it's kind of hard to actually feel like planning sometimes because I just don't know what's going to happen next. If that makes, I don't know if anyone else is feeling that way. It's kind of how I feel. Just like, I don't want to plan more than like a week in advance. I've had, I had a conference scheduled for April that got rescheduled to June July. In fact, I should be leaving. If the conference went off, I would have been leaving on Saturday this week, which would have been exciting. But instead, I'm going to be home on Saturday because conference gets canceled officially. So I've got a new, another conference scheduled for December that hopefully won't get canceled. Uh, but I, I don't know. And that's kind of it's kind of weird for me to have like conferences and things in my planner that just don't happen. I've never had something like that where it's something I've scheduled just didn't go. So that's kind of a weird place for me to be. Anyway, so not doing a lot of planning except for my sticker releases. Sticker launches are planned out for the rest of 2020. I haven't started thinking 2021 yet. Um, hell, I only have the rest of 2020 planned out because someone offered to pay me a lot of money to release my stickers earlier than scheduled, so we had to do some planning. But otherwise, yeah, it's it's been a really, it's been a struggle, I will say that much. It has been a struggle the last few months um, being sick. Yeah, I had... Uh, about three straight weeks sick. It was two weeks. I started feeling a little better. I did the launch video for Amplify and then I I just went back to feeling like crap. It was like maybe two days on of feeling sick one day off and then I felt better and then it was like, oh my gosh, I feel like crap again. And I, yeah, it was not happy. It was not a happy time. So um, anyway, uh, this sticker that I'm putting on now is not the one from the kit. This is actually one that you would buy separately in the shop. This is just a to-do list. If you get a kit, this side will have a the next week. It'll just be, I'll show you actually, because I have my yellow kit in the back here. This is what you get at the bottom of all the kits next week's sticker and then a sticker that is a little bit translucent so you can see the lines through it excuse me so that you can you know write journal whatever you want to do there i like to do lists i like having a weekly to-do list um so this sticker is available in my shop uh, they actually don't i decided after i made this test sheet to not do them as two to-do list stickers you get two separate ones so you can kind of fiddle with them or if you only want to cover up like one side of it you could do that so you can mix and match your kits uh the other thing i'll say about the difference in the stickers let me pull up the other one you will usually have a weekly affirmation and weekly self-care at the top this top three things to do is just a modification um it's a this is actually a misprint on a custom order so i figured i'd just use it myself all right so 
weekly layouts all set up. Um, now we'll go through and do the daily layouts. Uh, this was a change that I made late um, after I did the, you'll see it in the September kits going forward. Um, in my old kits, let me see if I have an old June one so I can show you. Yes. So in the old iteration of the uh, June kit, as you'll see, you had a large appointment bar, a large task bar. There was a solid morning, afternoon, evening bar. Um, oh, and here's the example of the June kits rainbow at the bottom here with the lines and then the rainbow over here with the solid box. So you can get an idea of that. Um, I ended up breaking that up a bit. I wanted something, I wanted it to be a little bit more flexible uh, for what I saw you guys using it for. So instead we have the kit set up like this. So you have, you still have your appointments and tasks. You also have, it's just important tasks for everybody else. I have some marketing ones in here. Like I said, this is a custom kit. And then you still have your morning, afternoon, and evenings. And what you can do, and what I like to do, is start with my appointments. And this I'm gonna, these are getting smaller now, so I'm gonna use my spatula tool here. And I'm just gonna stick my appointments right in there. And then I can select morning, afternoon, evening. Now I don't have any afternoon, any morning appointments on Monday. So I can just start with afternoon. That's why I like it, why I wanted to make it a little bit more flexible. So if I have afternoon appointments, I can do that. If I have anything I want to schedule for the evening, I can just put that right here. And of course, it doesn't have to be appointments. It can be any kind of task that you need to get done. And then I have my tasks bar. which I'm gonna put right about here. And obviously because these are pretty flexible, you can give yourself as much room as you want for your tasks, All right? And then I made a calls to make. I kind of took my usual weekly that would go in the bottom down here and turned it into like individual little task things. So, I'll put it right up here. And we'll add our little bar. I have my most important tasks, my tasks of the day, and then my appointments, um, morning, afternoon, evening, whatever you have. And I'm just gonna keep setting up my week that way. Um, with, the, with this kit, everything's in a kind of gradient pattern, so the appointments are almost the same shade as, where, as the day of the week, and then it kind of gradiates out to the next day's color, so. That way, if you just want to use those, like you want your, impor your important to match this one, you can. And again, I don't have anything in the morning tomorrow, but I do have afternoon and evening appointments. It's been kind of weird. I usually do need my like calendar, so to speak, for appointments, but since being sick, I've gotten a little bit behind with like photography and cause you know, no one was shooting. Um, it was, it's, it's been kind of rough if I'm super honest. Um, photography business clients totally dried up, to just totally did. Uh, people weren't buying stickers. It's like, I guess they wanted to buy food or something. So it was, I almost was at the point of, oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to like Kickstarter my life, um, essentially, because, um, yeah. So yeah, I still haven't got my tax return. It was the last thing I did before I got sick. And um, yeah, that kind of really sucked because with no tax return, I didn't get a stimulus check 
so it's been a lot of going through savings and uh, using my savings to float me and that has really sucked so yeah that it's it's been a rough few months here um, that's I guess all I need to really say about that I'm sure you guys have had a rough few months as well um, I think everybody has really at this point um, but yeah that's that's kind of what's been going on with me it's it's uh, like I said it was a little kind of touch and go there for a while like oh my gosh am I going to have food and a house and everything else so yeah there wasn't a lot of planning going on it's been a lot of touch and go day by day you know life real life kind of stuff so and i'm hoping all you guys out there that are watching have had a much better time than me i'm kind of if i'm totally honest i am kind of very jealous of the people that i've seen who have been out there like oh yeah it's great i'm bake baking sourdough i've cleaned my entire house from like floor to ceiling it's fabulous i like you know or worse yet the people are like oh my god i'm so bored i am so bored i have nothing to do i don't know i guess stress is a good boredom reliever i, I was never bored like ever so um I was like, I, I don't know. That was that was very frustrating for me, just watching people be like, oh, I'm so bored. I can't wait to like go outside. I'm like, Greg, you have no idea about wanting to go back outside when you can't do anything. You've been stuck in the house for like three months. Trust me, you're like, oh my God, I, you know, I want to go outside. But on the other hand, I feel like death, so I kind of can't go outside. Um, Ooh, a day of the week when I actually have a morning appointment. This is exciting. So, yeah. That was my life. Now, of course, you don't have to... With these kits that I've put together for the with the uh, amplify planner i'm going to accidentally say passion planner a dozen times this is for the amplify for the amplify planner weekly kits there's and you can configure this pretty much any way you want whatever kind of works for you um as you can see sometimes i did uh, over here i started with the important going down and then here i did it at the top um it's it's really about being whatever you want it to be however you want it to look. If you just want to do like appointments, tasks, you know, important or across the top, you could do that. You could do morning, afternoon, evening, like I did on the old kit across the top. Um, however, you know, you want it to do things. Um, and you don't even have to put them evenly spaced. Like, for example, for me, I have tend to have big handwriting, especially when I have blocks this big to write in, so it just makes more sense to do it this way. Um, yeah. So that's the nice thing about the Amplify Planner is you can do that. So I'm not kind of fidgeting with it all over the place like I do with my Passion Planner. So that's one of the nice things about the co I'm not a big fan honestly of the coils um, if you saw my review of it you heard me say that then like the coils not a big fan I am excited that the new ones don't have the pointy edges because I have definitely scratched myself on those um, I have an excellent ability to scratch myself on things so yeah I'm excited about the lack of pointiness on the on the new ones but yeah that's all i can say is yeah i probably if i have an appointment or anything on a saturday it's 
probably not going to be in the morning. So I can at least do this. Usually I'll have like one or two in the afternoon. I don't do evening appointments on Saturdays. Get that in there. And my task list. And then. Yeah, I got like it better that way. It gives me more room to write. I forgot to put one of my marketing days on here. Ah. The feeling when you remember why you were doing things a different way and you're like, ah, I don't remember why I was doing things this way. Anyway. Almost done here. Gosh, I can't believe it's almost the end of June. I'm just like, you've got to be kidding me. It's, it's kind of weird when you're sick in general, but especially when I was sick with COVID, it felt like every day was just agonizingly long. Um, so it was like March was the longest month in the history of months ever. And then um, April, same way especially because of the frustration of, I feel better, I feel better, oh, I'm dead again. Um, that definitely took some wind out of my sails and just made it like, oh my gosh. And then after like the like April being the second longest month in history after March, all of a sudden it's like the end of June. Like, I don't know where my May went. It's very, very weird. So. thought like I legitimately can't believe I'm almost done for the week all right and I don't usually do much on Sundays except set up my planner so there's this week's amplify planner setup um, obviously if you're using a different kit, it'll look different. Or if you're, you know, using my kit in a different way, it's going to look a little different, but that for the most part is my setup. So the next thing we're going to do is actually fill out our kit or our weekly, um, this week of is on all the kits. So this is the 22nd through, gosh, it's the last day of this week. I told you I got no clue, 28th, perfect. I'm telling you, time has no concept anymore. I just, no freaking clue what's going on. Okay. Um, much like with the passion planner, I've designed the stickers to be functional for, um, having a weekly focus. And then we're going to break it down into a daily focus. Um, so for this week's focus, I think this week we're focusing on, we're going to call this the monthly wrap up. 
I don't know about any of you guys, uh, during the month, especially recently, I just lose track of days and time and all of a sudden like, oh, my rent, you know, I've got to renew my lease. I was supposed to do that like two months ago and it's almost, it's up at the end of next month. I <laughs> gotta renew my lease, that kind of thing. So, end of the month, what we could call the end of the month panic is my focus this week. Um, we're gonna try and wrap up all those odds and ends and things that I didn't do last week. So, so we're then gonna break our monthly wrap up down into a daily focus. Um, today I'm going to focus on returning emails and phone calls. Tuesday is one of my three marketing days. We're going to make it a focus on marketing. Wednesday will be planning for July. Thursday, I think we will make it I'm going to leave what Thursday's focus is blank for the moment. Friday is definitely a planning planner sticker day. We'll do designing. Sunday is always my chores day. Thursday is usually task focused. So we'll make this errands and tasks. And then next Saturday it will be catch up day. Anything that didn't get done during the week, I will do on Saturday. Now I've divided the days up into days where there's gonna be just top three tasks, which are my important days. And then there's gonna be straight up marketing days. The marketing days are already filled out with suggested marketing tasks. And then I have my calls to make section, which right now I don't have any calls to make. Yay. Um, but I do have emails to send. My emails to send over here. And I've got a door client. And of course I can do these at any time. I just have a specific day where I'm like, I am dedicating my day to sending emails this day. Um, just like I have a specific day where I'm setting aside time to do write thank you notes and then specific days for marketing. So if anything else comes up in the marketing calendar, I know that um, those are set. So one thing I do want to do is make sure that I have, I'm going to do a section for um, uh, expected deliveries. Um, something I'm finding, or I've started finding out, is that the both the Postal Service and UPS are kind of slacking recently. I've had a f quite a few shipments um, coming in. None of my stickers, luckily, but a few coming in get lost. So in my important section, I got my ruler here. I got my mild liner. So I'll clean up my edge a little bit here. I usually have a smaller roller, obviously, but this is the one I've got at 
handy, so this is the one we're going to use. Use what you have. Cool. Give that a second dry. And then we're going to do expected deliveries. I actually want to do, I want to use the orange here. I'm going to use the red. This is still technically the red section and orange on orange doesn't look as good as red. Especially this is the dark red. Here's the right red. Delivery. And then that's my We've got that there. In my tasks, I can do post office. It's also a Thursday task, so I'll just pop that right in there. And I forgot over here at the top for this one. Um, like I said, for the other June kits, you'll have your weekly affirmation and your self-care to promise yourself. I have my top three to-dos for this week, and those will be catch up on all emails. And... There we go. Perfect. And I just remembered I have another expected delivery, so we're just going to go right outside the lines here. Cool. Excellent. And so then basically as I go through my week, if there's anything I need to put in here, I can do that. Um, I have my weekly to do's. What I will do is I'll go through and uh, take whatever I didn't do last week and didn't get done. And that'll just go into my weekly to do's, um, which basically comes down to you can take your daily focus and break them down into like the most important thing to do for that day. Put it into your to do list as well, which is why I have them now divide it up into two boxes so you can have a to-do that is your overdue tasks, for example, and you can have a to-do that's this week's tasks, for example. Um, so yeah, that's the basis for my setup. Only thing I didn't do was write in my numbers. and my appointments. And there's my planner set up for the week. 
as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, just to say thank you this week, I decided I would show everybody watching um, a sneak peek of what's launching on uh, Thursday, which is the September monthly kit for the Amplify Planner. Um, I've been doing one for the Passion Planner, and now that the Passion Planner Daily has its own special daily calendar, there'll be a Passion Planner Daily kit as well as the passion planner month um weekly sticker kit and also the bullet journal style cover for the passion planner month uh, daily but i'm also doing amplify sticker kits now so this will be the kit that's available to go into your september calendar in your amplify planner so keep a look out for these they should be launching tomorrow uh, once again, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, remember to like the video, leave a comment to let me know uh, what you're looking forward to, how you've been the last like four months since I updated this um, YouTube channel. And of course, subscribe. Thanks again, guys. Have a good one.